welcome back. Uh, today we're actually going to cover bison burgers. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with bison meat, it's actually a whole lot leaner, uh, fewer calories, and just quite frankly less fatty than regular beef. Um, it doesn't give way to anything as far as flavor goes though. Uh, it really has a rich, meaty, beefy flavor to it. Um, and it really just stays juicier through the cooking process. Uh, this recipe is going to be as simple as it gets. Uh, literally we're going to form patties. Uh, we're going to salt and pepper both sides of those patties, let them sit for a while, get to room temperature. We're going to start the egg up, get it to about 350 to 400 degrees, and we're only going to do five minutes per side. Um, so I can guarantee these are going to be some of the juiciest burgers you're ever going to taste, and you're probably going to save yourself about 200 calories. So with that said, let's go to the building materials. All right, like I said, it doesn't get much simpler than this. Uh, basically what we have here is we have some ground buffalo meat. Uh, bison, buffalo, pretty much the same thing. You'll see that this is uh, organic, and that's really all we could find at our grocery store, so it's a little bit higher price than it should be. But uh, you can find bison meat at your local Kroger, Publix, Whole Foods, uh, Fresh Market, any place that sells uh, diet and lean meats. Uh, going along with that theme as far as dressing the burger, We've gone with reduced fat Colby Jack cheese, uh, as well as uh, some multi-grain sandwich thins. Uh, we're just trying to save calories. Uh, this sandwich in its entirety will be under 300 calories, but you know, if you really chose to, you could use a uh, regular burger um, uh, cheese as well as bun, and it would be still one of the best burgers you ever had. Um, as far as wood chips go, we're going to use Jack Daniels. Um, getting that rich bourbon flavor really helps. Uh, kind of put an exclamation point on that beefy flavor. Uh, you could go without it again, but since we're going so basic on how we dress this burger, uh, we just like the extra punch of those wood chips. And then, uh, yeah, as far as uh, dusting the meat, we're going to use salt and pepper. Uh, that's it, really just to kind of create almost a crust on the outside of the meat and really lock in that moisture. So we're going to build these patties and we're going to rub them up and then uh, we're going to get the grill underway. All right, so this is what everything looks like prepped. You'll see we just mashed out two patties. Uh, each are about six ounces. Uh, you could do three quarter pound patties out of that package, which was 12 ounces. Obviously, if you can find more, then you can tweak the recipe however you like for whatever size you want. You could even make sliders. But you'll see that they're just dusted with salt and pepper on the outside uh, on both sides and mashed out to nice large patties. And then, as usual, we have begun soaking our wood chips, which are Jack Daniels. They need at least 30 minutes of soaking to ensure they don't burn up too quick and you get that rich smoke on them. So, uh, we're going to start the uh, egg real quick. And then uh, we'll probably put these on here uh, probably in about a half hour. We're going to let that fire get real hot up to about 350 to 400. All right, so you'll see that we're right at 400 degrees. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open it up. We're going to let it burp a little bit and then we're going to add the wood chips in uh, to uh, basically get that smoky flavor in our charcoal and then we're going to throw the burgers on for about five minutes per side. Okay so you'll see our uh, charcoal has a nice white ash to it, super hot, I'm sitting right at 400. So we're actually going to remove the grate real quick. And then we're actually going to let the wood chips drain a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. We're going to add these to the fire. And then we're going to give it a quick stir so that we don't kill the whole thing. Just want to disperse these guys enough so that we still have a strong fire, but they burn evenly. And then we're going to add our grate back. And then lastly, we're just going to put these burgers directly on. 
And like I said, it's going to be about five minutes per side. So we'll close these guys up. And then we're going to give it about five minutes before we flip. And then uh, we'll give it five more minutes before we put the cheese on after that. So a total cook time of 10 minutes. All right, so it's been about five minutes. We're still sitting right around uh, just over 350. So the wood chips dropped some of the temperature a little bit. You'll see there's a healthy plume of smoke still from those wood chips. So we're gonna let this guy burp and then we're gonna flip them and let them cook for another five minutes. You see a lot of smoke coming out. You can tell that they already look pretty darn good. So we're gonna flip these. See, there's plenty of juice on these guys. And look how evenly that's cooking through. So you'll see there's about a perfect amount of browning in there. It's gonna be hard to focus on them. So just a little bit of red of that smoke on the outside. So we're gonna close this up for five more minutes and they should be done. All right, so it's been five more minutes on this other side. You'll see we're climbing up now to about 375. So we're gonna let this thing burp a little bit again. Yeah, and you'll see those are looking real good. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're actually not even gonna flip. We're gonna throw on cheese for one more minute just to let it melt. And then we will pull these guys off in one minute, let them sit for a few minutes to cool the temperature. Also let them cook through, and uh, then we'll eat. All right, one minute later, let's see what these guys look like when they're done. And you can see the cheese just melted enough. There's perfect browning, a little bit of a red ring on the outside of these guys, and they're looking absolutely phenomenal. So we're gonna pull these off. And we're gonna let them sit for a minute, just finish cooking on the plate, and then we'll assemble our burgers. So uh, I just basically prepared this with uh, some flatbread that we toasted. Like I said, you can use um, regular bread, dress it up just like a regular burger. I'm just actually just going to eat it plain with just the cheese. Uh, there's a lot of complex flavors going on here with the uh, bison, so I don't like to dirty it up too much. But I'm going to enjoy it with some cold flour mac and cheese that my wife prepared. And we'll take a bite. That's delicious. Still moist inside from the bison meat. A little bit of pink in there, uh, red smoke ring from the Jack Daniels wood chips adding a lot of flavor. And uh, this will be one of the better burgers you've had. So enjoy.